We are prone to flooding at any time, just based on the, uh, the geographic area, the type of storms that we get, the way things are configured. Yes, it could absolutely happen again. The flow of 18,200 CFS um, that we had in Reno was obviously devastating. However, if it would have been um, at a time when the reservoirs weren't there or we weren't able to capture the flood water that we did with the reservoirs, there would have been 40, nearly 45,000 CFS. It went from um, what was a devastating flood to what would have been catastrophic had we not had the reservoirs. Six days I stayed in, stayed in the office, six days straight. Spent my 30th birthday, which is January 2nd, um, here. We were driving down 395 to go downtown to a emergency services meeting and looking out over the whole Truckee Meadows underwater, including the airport. It was just a big lake. Sparks, it was just absolutely incredible. That was a big uh oh when the creek was going through the houses instead of down the creek bed. It's like, whoa, that's not good. I lived down near the river, so I was very concerned about it. In fact, that was one of my biggest concerns was, wow, what's happening at my house? I never had an opportunity or a chance to contact my wife or family members because we were in the heat of the battle. So I kind of kept my fingers crossed. I never did go home until it was over. For days and days ahead of time, we were we had been talking, you know, with the weather service. Probably started a week and a half ahead. We knew this was a possibility. They said it was out there. I think it ended up bigger than than you know anybody had thought. But it was definitely forecast, and we had been discussing it for you know a week plus out. It could have been tragic, actually, had we not had that bit of advanced warning. You know, had we not gone out into the community as soon as we did, uh, could have been a lot worse could have a lot more damage, a lot more property damage. It could have been a lot worse. I think we got a fairly good jump on it. We heard a lot of people saying that there wasn't any information out there for them and they didn't know it was coming, And but it was there. You, you had to, to know where to look. In 97, we didn't have internet at that time. You know, everything was manual and by hand. And Compared to now, the, the data that we, that we were able to see was extremely poor. The technology is much better than it was in 97. We're obviously going to have much better um, ability to acquire data, to let you know everybody know what's going on with the system, what the river's doing, what the reservoirs are doing. The forecasting tools that, that the Weather Service and the River Forecast Center have are obviously much better as far as forecasting. As far as the actual flow in the river, you know, the reservoirs are the same, the flood control levels are the same. One of the, one of the biggest things we learned is that we needed to improve our ability to communicate. Oh yeah, We're, we will have one again. I, just a matter of when. It's going to happen. I mean, floods happen. Um, they always have and they always will. It's just a matter of when and how big.